Well, good morning and welcome to Ed's Orchids. Now, today it's going to be a little bit different because uh, I've got some workmen coming and doing some jobs because the fascias are dropping off the roof. I'll show you. I'll just go down the steps. Whoops. As I go down the steps, we'll look at the, uh, the wisteria. It's doing very, very nicely, coming along beautifully. And this is a new runner on it. Goes right down and down to the uh, little tub again that it's in. And uh, it's blooming very, very nicely. This one blooms twice a year. And it's growing up and up and up. So that's doing well and uh, I'm quite pleased with this one. It's been in this tub as I said before. Oh, for, oh, let's see, it's got to be uh, 13, it's got to be, yeah, it's got to be 12 or 13 years now, and uh, that's the only tub it's in, and it's doing so well. Must have a spread of around, uh, 18 feet, something like that. Some nice little blue flowers here, I just forget the name of them. And then there's a lot of shrubs and conifers and all sorts of things. Now this is protecting the greenhouse. It's ready for cutting and trimming again. And as you can see, the greenhouse faces due west and there's all this protecting it round the corner so it stops it getting far too much sun but gives it plenty of light then we've got a couple of clematis been in bloom for about a week another one here In fact, it looks like the same one that's gone over. One of them must have died. But uh, quite nice. And you can see behind it, it's all woodland. Nothing but woodland. But the main reason is uh, for people coming out is this uh, this fascia. This has dropped off the front of the house, and uh, that one there that's holding the satellite dish is loose, and I've lost all the satellite channels. So I mean it's too high for me to go up. So uh, they're coming to do that this afternoon. And there's a red robin tree and behind it that wants trimming i've done nothing in the garden yet this year is the uh, the yucca uh, this looks almost tropical doesn't it but it's only about 12 degrees and that's the front of the house where the uh, the face is gone that needs pulling back up. That's the the one at the back. So I'll be glad when they're back up and I can get some television programmes again. As rubbishy as they are. And this is what it's like round the uh, round the side of the house. Some houses up here. So it's a long way away, must be three, four hundred yards, three hundred yards away. And this is one of the trees that came down, almost uh, knocked me out. Look at the size of them. Must be 75, 80 feet high. And look at the slope on them. It's one that they're still standing. There's two like that now. There used to be three. One came down a few years ago. And the thing is, it dropped. 
Oh my god, it broke all my uh, barbecue stuff, broke my wheelbarrow, broke all sorts of stuff. Oh, there's a helicopter coming over. I'll just be quiet till it's gone. a bit noisy that wasn't it? More like the Red Arrows than just a single helicopter. Yeah and I say uh, that tree fell and it broke everything in the garden and uh, the bloke who owns these trees lives at the far house up there so I went around to see him he wasn't interested and you know he's a solicitor and if next door's trees fall and break something on your property He's not responsible. Uh, the responsibility lies with you and your insurance company. Which means if that big tree comes down, drops on this greenhouse, he's not responsible. And I have to pay for the damages on my insurance. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely stupid. And this is the remnants of the 80 foot tree that fell down the other year. There's a video on somewhere and it goes all the way up there. And that's uh, one of the things it smashed up the bird table. Needs new, uh, new legs put it on it but they haven't got round to it yet. I've also got this big conif hedge all the way down the full length of the side of the house and all that needs trimming so I'll have to get somebody in to do that it's a big job but I might have a go myself you never know but these are some of the jobs I've got to do before uh, before we get tidied up Anyhow, before the, the, the team comes to put my fascias back up, I've got to move this yucca out of the way so they can get up there. And uh, I don't know whether I'll have to move all those pots out of there or not, but uh, we'll see. Anyhow, that's about all I can show you today. And uh, we'll have a look once the... Uh, once the fascias are back up. So, I just, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for my subscribers, and I'll see you later. Bye.